Hey, what's up guys, Luminous Eel here. In today's video, we're gonna start off with just the base gear set and I'll teach you how to snowball your way into some better gear and build up your gold pile. I'm gonna go over the perks really quickly and then we'll jump into the first game. So we're on in Malice, Anti-Magic, and Dark Reflection. Last perk doesn't matter because it's all about uh, magic spells. And we're running the Melee Warlock, so we're running Blow Corruption and Phantom Eyes. So let's jump into the first game. Alrighty, first game. So, okay, spawn. Drag one at a time here. We did hear somebody talking about doing the cave troll in the lobby, so might look to uh, counter that a little bit. We have nothing to lose. That guy was pretty geared. So, for the time being, we'll just kind of loot up. Hopefully find some kind of falchion or longsword or any kind of weapon that we can use better than the staff. Alrighty. With these couple of chests. We're gonna go towards the other side of this room. Um, they have those crates that we can break and sometimes they have a little bit better gear. Got whatever upgrades that we can find. And whatever sellables. Usually you don't really want to uh, go for your PvP fights and you know when you're base gear, but also you have nothing to lose. So if you see somebody who's super juicy and you know where he's gonna be, why not try? Alright, these guys hurt a lot. Good, not taking any damage. Take everything that we can to sell for now. We can drop uh, whatever we need to a little bit later on. Okay, so this is actually the hybrid map. I'm not sure how to get to the cave troll from here. Nice one agility. Got to sell. Nice, already getting some decent upgrades here, little by little. Okay, ran the drain pipe, I think that's the guy that was pretty geared. So I don't think he started the cape troll just yet, which is good for us. I don't know, I think we're going to take a light bolts here. And these are just a little bit worse, so keep what we have right now. Let's make our way to the default extract. I think we have a good grasp of where we are now. Here's somebody walking over here. Okay, it's a wizard. He's gonna kill himself. Perfectly fine for us. Actually, there's somebody else though. That I don't love. I'm gonna try to put down the campfire. Ooh, take those gloves. Somebody is mining. These a little bit better. Sell. He's mining like right here. Don't have any bandages, I'm actually just gonna sit down for a bit. Alright, full health. See if we can't find this guy. It's probably a rogue. Oh, 
ranger. Maybe we can kill this guy. He's gonna try to come up here. He's got the this guy behind him. Easy kill. If we just played that slow than we had him. Let's go. Try to heal up here. And I am gonna put the campfire down now. Guy probably has some nice ruby silver for us that we can sell. That'll be good. Just want to drag that fight out a little bit longer so he got hit by that uh, goblin that I attracted. <laughs> we could kind of just let that goblin do most of the work. Somebody else is coming. Probably gonna have to drop most of this stuff. Which is fine. Whoops. I mean to activate that. I'm actually gonna punch the wall real quick so we get this back. Agility. Ours are better. He did have a protection potion that he didn't put down. Nice. Some bandages for us. This guy had it all. Reaper's not great. Um, and we don't need this because we have a lantern. I think everything else is good. Sweet. And now I'm really not sure where the cave troll is here. I thought it was this way. Oh, oh, it's this way. Okay. I think we got it. Now that's the uh, empty room. Whoops. <laughs> Don't know what's going on. Let's figure out, man. I really want uh, a falchion or something. That gold coins. Yep. Somebody was breaking some pots over here. Do we have an exit portal, though? Oh, damn. Did not see that guy. Like, so I gotta take that. Takes up too much space. Just kind of drag these guys over one at a time. Below me? Oh, the portal was below me. I thought it was in this room. Damn. All good. This archer. Damn, and the spider came too. Alright, we'll get this archer to hit the wall. It's a good spot for it. Let's move side to side. Just please, sir, don't run backwards. Alright. We just heard somebody else. Yeah, we did. Let's see if we can get, can't catch this guy off guard. Man. Phantomize over this guy's trap. And he's dead. Sweet. Um, probably that was the last guy, but uh, just to be safe, I want to pop this potion. Wow, this guy had some good loot for us. All right, let's drop some of the stuff that uh, isn't gonna sell anyways. Pick up all the stuff that we can sell. Ooh, and he had the falchion for us, nice. Let's go. I need the arrows. And these pants aren't gonna sell as well as this, all this stuff is. That's about all we can carry. I can grab this too. Is there anything else we can put in? No, I think that's, that's about it. Alright, that was pretty good. 
Definitely need to find a portal now. Not to greed. Guessing the portal's gonna be like right here. We have this guy that we're gonna have to take out. Easy peasy. Some more gold, nice. Okay, I was like wondering where that was for a second and panicking. We got it though. Awesome first run. All right, 139 from the collector. Gonna try and sell um, some of the stuff in the trade chat, like the ore and everything. We're also gonna get rid of this stuff and trade in our silver coins. All right, let's try to trade our cotton candy, our candy corn, and our uh, ruby silver and cobalt ore real quick. All right, 35 gold for this ruby silver ore. This, like, I don't know why people say to trade. Like, this stuff does not sell. Alrighty, 30 gold, so 10 each for the uh, cobalt. <laughs> it's not a lot, but take it, I guess. Candy corn sells pretty quick. 150 gold for 17 candy. That's awesome. Let's pick up some purses and do a little bit of trading. All right, now that we have a little bit of gold to uh, buy some items, we're just going to sit in the chat and look for some just cheap upgrades. Okay, this is actually a really good sword for 100. We're going to pick this up. Purple sword with magical damage bonus. We are going to take that. We see this shadow mask, plus two all, plus two additional magic damage. And an agility. That's actually really good. And we're going to pick up these boots for 50. Three health, three magical power. Take it. All right, that's the last piece of gear that we'll buy for now. Um, honestly, at this point, I would start, like, things that are decent. I would start uh, saving it if you have nothing in your stash. Uh, but just for this video, and for a little bit of extra gold, I'm going to sell these, and then we're going to buy some potions and bandages. All right, and we can actually sell this uh, clarity pot. We don't need it. Cool. I'm going to put the rest of our money in the stash here. Keep it for later once we get out of this next run. And so far, I mean, our build is coming together. I like snowballing a little bit, grabbing a little bit of a better gear and just kind of working up from there. So let's jump into the next game. All righty, second game. While we're here. Break all those, and then we're probably going to go for the centipede. Love doing the centipede just because you have a higher chance of, uh, of getting the rings and the pendants. Usually costs the most when you're making your build, especially for decent ones. all these, trying to get any kind of trinkets or upgrades that we can. Just scoop it all up and then we can drop where we need to. Uh, physical damage reduction, I'll keep those. Max health bonus. I hear somebody out here. Take a look. fight this guy. <clears throat> Alright, sweet. Luckily, I think that guy was kind of low from fighting that goblin. <laughs> That's really what we were, we were going for. And I'm just going to put this down really quickly. Don't think that other goblin comes over this far, so should be pretty safe. Don't hear anybody... We're from anywhere around us, so we'll just keep our ears open. Okay, we actually do hear somebody right here. They need to listen to see if he comes around the corner. I'm gonna get as much health back as I can. Oh, 
One more HP. Nice. Okay, we do have somebody around the corner. That's for sure. I don't want to loot this guy really fast. Okay, yeah, he's got some... Oh, we hit him first. We have the, totally have the advantage here. All right, now we're gonna wait out his his spell. We have our blower corruption on, and we win. Woo, let's go. Played that fight really well. There's like a little bit of a delay. Like even though it looked like he was in his phantom eyes, I've died a lot like that. Where they can just get a hit in. Even though it looks like, uh, you know, you kind of beat him to the punch. Let's go. I like popping Phantom Eyes. A little bit before you come around the corner. Um, that's an upgrade. We'll grab that. Yeah, I like to pop it a little bit before we come around the corner. That way we can kind of get the jump on them. And just like in that situation, we get the first hit off and... Usually whoever gets the first hit, if uh, you're kind of equally geared, usually wins the fight. Alright, let's go back to looting this guy. Wow, those are some... Wow, those are really good boots, actually. Holy. And we got an extra strength here. I think I'm going to take the agility... Do you want those boots though? And drop that, nobody buys that helmet. Alright, good to go. Let's go towards the uh, centipede over here. Do have the health shrine and we have a lot of potions, so I'm not really worried about it. Looks like somebody did come this way. I think it might have been the warlock, I'm not sure though. Spiders are heading that way though. Yeah, nobody grabbed the centipede, so we're gonna drag him out. Come on, buddy. Of course, he starts slithering away. I'm gonna shut this door just in case anybody else decides they want to uh, pick a fight. Actually, no, I'm gonna open it up and maybe drag him in a little bit farther because the zone stops right here. Duck under that. Move out of this out of the way there. Cool. Yeah, skin him to come back over the trap. Over here, buddy. This way. Oh, that might hit me. Nope. <clears throat> oh yeah. I'm crouching. Fast enough there. All good. See what we got. Nice. Additional magic damage. Oh, that's so good. Let's go. True physical damage, but a will. Like, oh. There's just some nice upgrades already. That's why I love doing the centipedes. Let's go through here. If anybody did this, the troll. Let's go. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> Let's go. Somebody's leaving. I don't even care. It's two agility, physical damage reduction. I mean, obviously, we're, we're going for additional magic damage, additional true magic damage, but they have a two agility ring. I don't feel like I, that's awesome. Build is coming together nicely. Right. Come around this way. I'm gonna go do the other centipede. Some of these chests here on the way. That'll sell. Let me drop. Physical damage bonus. I don't know if anybody buys those. Um, these. I think that portal was above us. We also still have uh, default extract. You can just phantomize through the traps and the goblins. 
Now, phantomizing won't set off the traps, but if the trap is already up, then you'll hit it. Let's bring this guy over here, and I'm also gonna go to the store. This area's not cleared, though. What? How did that not hit? Alright, let's go this way. <laughs> I wonder if he didn't hit by that stuff. It's slow. Stand that, call the potion. Sweet. Oh, I'm gonna have to jump over this. True physical damage. Ooh, nice. Blue pots are always good to have. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna run through this. Probably have to pop a bandage. But it's getting towards the end of the match, and definitely want to secure. Pick, nice. Gladly take that. So our left here. Yeah, I don't want to go through that, so let's go around to the right. And more po poison. Yeah, bueno. Okay, we do have the portal right there. We were gonna, just going to take that. Pretty full inventory, so... No real reason to stick around. That was a good for a second game, actually. Alright, 111 gold from the collector. Let me see, take a look at some of the stuff. Um, we're going to try to sell the rest of the stuff in trade chat pretty quickly. If it doesn't sell, then we'll just vendor it. Let's see if he's interested in these two. Why not? Okay. <laughs> Rapier for uh, 50 gold there. Wants the Lightfoot boots for 50. Sweet. Number two. Oh, I gotcha. Alright, 50 gold for this. Not too bad. 50 gold pretty quickly for these candy. Probably can sell them for more, but just trying to get the gold quick. And we are going to vendor the rest of the stuff. Some didn't sell. Trade in on our silver coins. And let's bring in the gold that we had from last raid. Also, we forgot to sell these two um, necklaces, but I don't think they're going to sell, so I'm just going to better them. Next pieces of upgrade that we need are definitely the chest piece, the gloves, and the pants. Followed by, well, we might be able to get a pretty decent uh, necklace. It already has the additional magic damage, but you can get like three or four, I think three additional magic damage now. Um, for pretty cheap, because nobody really plays necklaces, so... Uh, we're going to try chest piece first and probably gloves and then, then go for there. Okay, found these little leggings for 50 gold. Although these occultist pants are pretty good, so I'm probably going to try to sell them. Wow, both of these for 50 gold. I mean, if we didn't already have a better shadow mask, definitely could use this. Additional magic damage. And these gloves are nice. So we're going to equip those. Again, I mean, I would just keep all this stuff and try to sell it. Wow, all right, 100 gold for these occultist pants. Like I said, I mean, need to try to hold on to them or try to sell them. Wow, he's gonna give both of these to us for 100 as a nice occultist tunic. All right, I'm just gonna vendor the rest of the stuff um, and actually keep the shadow hood because it's pretty good. I can use it later. But the other stuff, you know, I don't really need. So I'm gonna look for some, a cheap uh, pendant and maybe one ring, we'll see. Found this badger pendant for 50 gold. Super cheap, and look at this. Will plus three true magical damage. That's a sweet upgrade. Picking up this quickness ring for 50 gold. And we're picking up this last ring of quickness for 80 gold. Oh, that did put us over a little bit. Well, maybe I shouldn't have made that trade. <laughs> I didn't realize with the trade fee we didn't have enough to pay for it. Whoops, hopefully you guys can forgive me. <laughs> Alright, from there I could definitely have uh, sit in trade chat a little bit longer and try to sell these rings. I don't really feel like it right now, so just going to put them in the stash. 
And, you know, you just keep piling up the stash, building it up, and, uh, you know, eventually you'd have a decent pile there. Let's jump into another game. Um, I think we're going to try to go for High Roller this time. Or after this game. So, try to uh, get a little bit of gold here. Go, just gonna try to loot up here. Just grab whatever we can for now. I don't like being at the bottom here, so I'm gonna try to make my way up to uh, top floor so I don't get <laughs> dinked down by rangers. And I'm gonna go to one of my favorite spots over here. This is where the centipede is. Some decent loot over there with all the mummies. And again, the centipedes just have high drop rates for uh, rings and pendants. I heard somebody over here. Oh, I thought I was in one of those spots you just get stuck and you just die. You can't move. Alright. A little bit bad there, but... Gotta take him out. Don't have to deal with it later. Break all these. I clear my way down to the uh, mine set down there. And drop some of this other crap. Skill damage bonus is my cell. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Come on, everybody, this way. Okay. Under that one. Need to bandage up though, because we got this wizard. Wizards are definitely a counter. Do not want to phantomize towards that guy. He has a door open. I don't think he saw me. Actually, just gonna loot this, that chest over there, and then we're gonna try to go for him. But did he shut the door and now the mummy's on me? Somebody near me. Okay, it's barbarian. Okay, we want to phantomize here. We do not want any part of this guy. At the moment. We'll toss a rail line turn at him. You're not friends, sir. I'm gonna wait for my blow of corruption to come back. We got the wizard coming through too. If that wizard comes through, then it's gonna be bad news for me. I need to grab this guy's potions. Ooh, this guy's kinda geared. Okay, let's drop some of this other stuff. Heal real quick. Okay, keep looting. Let me grab those. And the other bandage. Oh. Okay, we're going to grab some of these syllables, actually. I 
I'm terrible at Tetris. Go this way, we can avoid the wizard. Don't like fighting wizards because they just counter this build so hard. This class. Okay, that's outside of zone now. We are just going to find somewhere to sit really quickly. I think we're inside zone here. Kind of hidden. So for just two seconds. Awesome. I absolutely can't get out here. Am I? Do I have an aggro on those guys? Weird. Didn't even check out what kind of rings this guy has. Okay, now where was that portal? I heard somebody. Not sure where that portal's. Oh, there it is. Cool. we have enough loot here where we can get into a high roller match so that's what we're gonna do it's where the real money's made we have 160 from the collector and we're gonna sell these these two things i don't think we get anything for the bolts but sell the mace it's not gonna sell so there we go. Buy a couple more coin bags. And put this other stuff that we got in the stash. I'll probably try to sell it at the end of the video. And we'll can, we can see how much we made. Not really the point of this video is not really making money. But I guess we need money to, uh, to snowball. So maybe a little bit. Alright, so this is all we need for high rollers. So we're going to put the rest in here. Actually, we do need some more bandages. And potions. Grab those quickly. Alright, I think that should be good. Put all this stuff here. And let's jump into a high roller game. Alright, just real quick before the match starts, let's check out the damage. 47 plus 30, so 77, plus another 47. So that is 124. 124 in one hit, not too bad. Definitely not what it once was, but I mean, our gear isn't uh, the best either, so we can definitely do better. I mean, for what we have right now, I'm, I'm happy with it. All right, somehow this is, <laughs> they just always spawn me here all good this is a really nice spawn since we have zone we can clear all the way around um that's what i would do okay that's actually not good uh, for rogue anyways do have the cotton candy um that's what i would normally do but i don't know maybe that's just not not as fun to watch but i don't know i feel like looting up and just getting some gold is uh Kind of chill and good to see how other people make their all their money. What? That hit me. Okay, that one definitely hit me. But the first one, not so much. See these again? Jilty Moon. See, that's really good for a barbarian. All right, before we uh, take out the Skeleton Champion, let's clear out this area. Getting hit by everything. That's all right. To attract all these bugs, bats, or whatever. Spider aggro to me, no. It's the bat. Alrighty, let's go get the champion and see what we got here. Magical power. Too bad. Could have used that, but we have a little bit better stuff right now. Ooh. Oh. 
copper there. This down here, we have one rubble. Okay, we're just going to cheese this guy and also grab the health shrine just in case anybody else tries to mess with us. Alright. Just kill this guy. Hopefully for the golden key, that would be sick. Alright, golden key, please. Nah, all good though. <laughs> kind of figured. Take both of those though. I'm gonna clear out to this door. Hello, Mr. Spider. That is rude. Shit, we got a bug on us too. Nope, nope, nope. Damn you, you fucking spider. I hate that move. Nope. <laughs> Alright, we killed him, but damn, that's a doy. We just keep doing that over and over again. Ooh, additional magic damage. Well, nice. I'm gonna sit here for a second. I think we're pretty safe. Turns out we are not safe. We are not safe. Need him to get attacked by some kind of bug or something. Alright, he got his ass now. Got the hand crossbow. This. Ooh Got his ass. Let's go. Got the hand crossbow. Saw that, but man, I just wanted to get that uh, blow corruption off. I was playing it pretty well, jumping and everything, though. Let's see what what he's got for us. Oh, damn. Okay. This is why the money's made here. Movement speed, action speed. Damn, those are actually really good too. Put this in here. Oof. Okay, we're gonna drop one of our campfires. Grab everything that is worth some money. All the heals. Definitely need that. Um, yeah, we want that as well, actually. Can't really carry anything else. Damn, alright, we already have to leave. I <laughs> mean, we have a... Um... Just kind of full right now. It's up below us, I think. this one instead. Alright, let's try to find that. We do have it right here. We're going to open this up, but there's actually something else that I want to do here. If you didn't know, there is a spawn for the centipede. And you know I love killing the centipedes. We can get some really valuable items from them. This is where we get like the purple um, rings and necklaces from. I don't think he's that hard to kill. You know his attack pattern, you can kind of just dodge everything. The most annoying is just this trail of uh, poison. But if we keep him in this room, then we don't have to deal with his trail of poison either. Oh, easy. See what he's ha what he has? Whoa. Like I said, this is where the money is made. Holy, look at this ring. Additional magic damage. That is insane for us. 
Man. Additional movement speed, like, damn. That is so good. And if you didn't know, there's also through here... Golden chest. Honestly, just because... I mean, really need anything else, but... Let's just take a look, shall we? Okay, that's actually terrible. I mean, maybe this bow is decent. It's probably better than that, so we'll take it, but... Oh, that was really bad. Alrighty, that was an insane run. Okay, guys, 139 gold from the collector. And we're going to try to sell the rest of this stuff that we found. Come back for these. And see how much gold we made. Alrighty. We're going to get 100 gold for these riveted gloves. Honestly, the stats on them are not great, so 100's fine. Alright, 200 gold for these rugged boots. Honestly, they're insane for a uh, barbarian. We super fast. 50 gold for the recurve bow. 150 for this crossbow. Selling these as a set for 100 gold. And I'm going to sell the candy corn for 125 gold. Alright, all that's left really is the gear that we have on us and all these rings and necklaces. So I'll try to sell some of them. Alrighty. 250 gold for both of these rings. Got the ring of quickness, the movement speed, and the ring of courage with the action speed. Get rid of this ring of quickness for 50 gold. Okay, 250 gold for this ring of quickness. 250 gold for a blue ring of courage. Alright, well, I did my best to try to sell the rest of these, but uh, they weren't really selling, so I'm just going to vendor these that I don't think I need or don't think are going to sell. Maybe this one would sell to a barbarian, but... Uh, Nobody was biting, so I'm just going to vendor them. And these I can keep for later. I can use them uh, on this build or save them for a friend or something. So, All right, guys, just real quick. I want to show off the gear that we got for the end of this video. So I'm just going to hover over everything really quickly. And you can pause if you need to. This ring is sick, by the way. <laughs> then we could sell this falchion and just get a shittier one, but we'll just keep it for now. And with that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, if you didn't, then I guess you don't need to. But either way, I had fun with the video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.